Joe, the... Joe power walks. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's got to get all that rage out. It's Capital Extra Breakfast. Good morning. Robert Bruce and Shayna Marie keeping you company. Hoping you're having a great Thursday. And we are joined in the studio by a man who's been on our screen for more than 20 years, but looks amazing. He's got yeah. a very cool fanship with Cardi B, we should say. And you may know him as Dan Humphrey from Gossip Girl, Todd in Easy A, or Joe Goldberg from You. Oh. It's Pam Rodney! Rodney! Thank you. That's some fanfare. Thank you. <laughs> Morning. How you doing, bro? What's going on? Man, I'm good. You know, as I said, I've been in London for like um, less than 12 hours. Wow. So I'm like, I, you know, I'm, I'm, I don't know what time zone I feel like I'm in, <laughs> but I'm good. Adjusting, adjusting. Yeah. So you series four part two premiering exclusively today on Netflix, right? 9th of March. Now there's two types of people. There's diehard you fans and there's people that might be discovering it for the first time right now. Do you feel like great and just happy that you're back for a full season? I mean, it's a very... <sighs> I'm really interested to see what people think. People who are new, sure, yes. I'm really interested to see who, like people who are, who know the show and love the show. This season, I think, tests that because it's a different genre for the first part. You know, we have this part one out now. Part two is out, well, now. But so far, I don't know how anybody's responded to it really yet. Mm-hmm. So, so, so I think I'm, I'm really looking forward to that, you know? Because right? it comes home in part two in, in, in more ways than one. Oh, okay. Yeah. Do you feel how fans of the show feel, and I say this as a fan of the show, that... Joe just can't catch a break. Like, he's a catch good guy. A, wait, catch a break? I can feel like... <laughs> catch a break. He, he has every break no, imaginable. Like, he has like, not gotten caught. When he gets uh, caught, true. they die. True. <laughs> true. But I just feel like he doesn't want to do the bad things that he does. Like, even the first episode, no spoilers, the first episode, he's like, you're like, Joe, man, this wasn't... I know. Didn't, this wasn't meant to happen He's meant you. to be the clumsy, lovable yeah. serial killer, Which is, uh, I don't know what that... I don't know what that says about us. <laughs> but, um... Have you seen part two? Have you seen no, part two? No, not yet. Okay, because okay. mm-hmm. sometimes people, when we're doing press, they've seen it all. I think so much of that question is answered in a way that the show has never been able to address in part two. Because, because, uh. because technically speaking, we've always seen Joe from his, own, um, from his own mind, right? Like the whole thing is so much from his perspective with all the voiceover narration, the thinking. Um, it really... I think I think if we were a- if we were able to see Joe from another perspective, from somebody else's eyes, mm-hmm. I think all of that charm disappears. I think all of that like uh, wanting him to catch a break disappears, and you realize like the things that this guy's doing are obviously. I mean, obviously, like, yeah. you know, you, I mean, we all know that. So I think it's just a matter of like how it's what kind of lens is on it, and so we get something in part two that. We've never gotten before. I think I kind of want to stay blind. I think yeah. I want to stay loving Joe and all his charm. I okay, think I want to sure stay fair. there. <laughs> uh, some people know you from Gossip Girl. And um, when you were first approached to play Joe in you, you didn't actually want to. What's the what? What was the reason for that? Um, I mean, I actually felt the same way with Gossip Girl. By the way, yeah, they're both two. They're two really significant roles because I kind of knew that they would. Uh, potentially become iconic or something like that where i was i was conflicted with with you um the show you and playing joe it was simply a matter of uh him be it just it's just kind of exhausting for six months to do that i mean it's like a lot of rage like i actually after a few weeks of shooting usually it's hard to eat meat because it's a little bit like being an athlete, like like all day. I'm having to rage and and sort of be hateful and very quiet, but very tense, you know. And like it's it's so. It's just a it's just a, it's taxing maybe, and I think bringing it to life. I'm the you know I'm not the writer, I'm not the director, I'm also not the 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 viewer. I'm the one person, mm. the one person who has to embody all that stuff like for you know twelve to fourteen hours a day for six months. Uh, at a time and so that you know it's just it's not like films are different films are you take them on for a shorter period of time you don't have to do them then repeatedly yeah you also you also already know everything that's going to happen so you can sort of prepare to do everything once whereas yeah. with the show you really don't know how long it's going to go how far it's going to go and it's, so it's just it's like it's like preparing for an endurance marathon sort of i got to know you through you yeah and a lot of people got to know you through gossip girl how would you sum up the difference in Gossip Girl fame and you fame? Uh, 
you fame somehow, I don't know if it would be like this on its own. I like if I wasn't known before this, but because the one came after the other, you, the show now, there's something different. There's something more. I've never, I've never had to actually think about like, you know, like leaving the house and thinking about altering my either the way I'm going to look or the way I'm going to walk or, or like where I'm going. You know what I mean? It's like mm -hmm. I, I actually have to think about that more now, mm -hmm. which is like, and you know, a lot of people back in the day on Gossip Girl would do that, but I would, I, I think I try, I just always was not of that mind. But mm -hmm. now it's sort of like, I have to be honest, I mean, everywhere I go. You're, it's you're just, a superstar. You're know a right? like, superstar. And, it, and that's a strange experience. It's still <laughs> yeah. strange. So that I think is the main difference. Oh, and you know what? I have a family now. Oh, I didn't okay. have a family before. So, yeah. I mean, those things, it's very different. Very different mm -hmm. doing all of this and then having a family. That's like a, a wildly other consideration. Speaking of your family, your wife is British, right? Yeah, yeah. And you shot a lot of this season in the UK. The whole thing. What is your favorite and least favorite part about the UK? Um, my favorite thing is my wife. No. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's, that's, not, that's not not true. Uh, favorite thing and the least favorite thing. Um... You can say the weather, I mean. Yeah. You know what? Okay, this is going to sound really, like, uh, like superficial, but I have to say, tea was such a joy. I'm not kidding. I'm not yes. kidding. It's like, it's, and by the way, at home, back home, it doesn't work the same way. Yeah. It doesn't oh, okay. really, it really doesn't, it's, it's, um, uh, there's something about a cup of tea and the way, there's a pace here that's different. There just is. It, 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 I, I don't know. It, it would take me far too long to explain it in a way that it makes any sense. To me. <laughs> but it, but we'll there, take the compliment. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, and there, there's a lot of things, by the way. I do love it here. I truly love it here. I just want you to know, I, I love it here, and um, and it almost feels like a second home because I spent so much time here. Now, um, furthest I've ever been away from America, by the way. Wow. wow. I actually felt like I got a sense of what it is to be American. I realized, like, oh, I'm very American. <laughs> wow. Like I'm not, you know, I didn't necessarily feel that at home. <laughs> but um, my least favorite thing, ah, oh, your tabloids. Not Easy. because of my experience in them, by the way. Mm -hmm. I just look at them and I'm like, that's, that's, that's rough. Yeah, <laughs> it's very messy that's over really here with that. Yeah. <laughs> and ours is bad. But I don't know what about yours is. It's just, it's a mess. what is that? It's Next year, yeah. honestly. Really? Pam, we're going to get you to play selector right now on the radio. You can okay. either press play on Scissor, Kill Bill, or a friend of yours, Cardi B, I Like It, which actually features in the show. Very um, fitting for what's happening when that song plays. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what are you picking? Name the three again. Scissor. Kill mm -hmm. Bill or Cardi B, I like it. Don't I? Have, I have to pick Cardi, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah I got, I got, I got to show the love. Can you enter it for us, please, in your best British accent on Capital Extra Breakfast? No, I can't. Do that. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I can't enter it, and and I and I can't and I no, I can't. Come I can't. On, I'm not, no, no, here's, here's, the, here's the thing. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. I will someday do a very good English accent on camera. I can't, it's, I, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna come in. It's not here today. Right yeah, yeah, it's, not here. This is the one I'll do right now. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's, it's a boy. <laughs> so you did it? Yeah. Yeah. That could work. I didn't even know where you was from. <laughs> it's Cardi B on Capital <laughs> Extra. <laughs> Cardi B. Right, it's right here, innit? <laughs> innit? So we just spoke about uh, Cardi B. We are, of course, joined by Penn Badgley. And he, you guys are friends. You've been internet friends for a little while. You guys were pictures on mm -hmm. Twitter for a long time. Yeah. Have you guys met up yet? No, no, we haven't. We've tried. We've tried twice. Um, she's, look, I'm busy. She's busier. Uh, Is it? She, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, you know, she's Cardi B. Now you're the pro of the UK. You've been here for a long time. If you was to meet in the UK, where would you take Cardi B? What would you do? Uh, um, you know, what's funny is that I didn't get to go to a lot of, like, um, iconic b British things. Here's the thing. Part of me would want to just, like, let's walk in Hyde Park. It's lovely there. But if I'm with Cardi B, <laughs> to walk through Hyde Park, um, what could you do with Cardi B? We'd have to do something really exceptional. I don't know. It's like we, we'd... Uh, it's, it's a good question. Maybe I don't have an London answer. London Eye? Cheeky Nando's? London Eye? Yeah, cheeky... cheeky. I think Cheeky, cheeky Nando's. Why, cheeky, cheeky can Nando's. anyone tell me why Cheeky? <laughs> why? It's unclear. It's, it's, there's no rule. It's, it's, it's just very British. It's, it's just very cheeky. Like, it's a cheeky it's just Nando's. Like, 
Cheeky? Cheeky Nando's? <laughs> you guys, I mean, honestly, it's bigger than McDonald's. He, yeah. For us, you know, obviously, nobody would ever speak about, about McDonald's with such love. Yeah. You guys speak about and yeah. everybody. I'm talking like across class, across race. Everybody's just like, oh, Cheeky Nando's. <laughs> it's, it's just, what, how is that? That's pretty cool. <laughs> now, we spoke a little bit earlier about um, maybe going for a walk in High Park with Cardi B. <laughs> yeah. And one of the things that was made a meme immediately uh, from this series is how you walk across London in the show. Mm -hmm. Now, you go Nine from... Hour walk. You already know. I know. You already I know, Pen. What's tool, going tool, on here? Meme. Hey, listen, how do you think I stay thin? <laughs> <laughs> That's the secret to it all, Joe, walking Joe, across uh, London. Joe, Joe Power walks. He's got to get all that rage out. What was it like filming the um, new series in London Town? I mean, I can't tell you how much I enjoyed it. Again, I've never spent this long away from home, uh, from, from my country, which, you know, growing up as an American in the era I did, I can't say I was ever that. I didn't know what it meant to be proud to be American. Um, being here just was like, I, I, I love it. I love it. And I, I mean, there's, I got to do what people who visit don't often get. I got to just be here. You know what I mean? And that's actually different. That's like not being so much of a visitor. I stay with my aunt-in-law. Shout out to Gabby. <laughs> when my family wasn't here, I would um, just stay with her. And it was nice. like, so I, and I, and I, and I had like a good small network of friends around me. It's just like, so yeah, it's, I just want to give a lot of love to London and everybody who lives here. Any rich private members club in Soho that you attended? You know, I went to one. No, in Soho. <laughs> No, I mean, are you asking if I killed or people? <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 he just saw where this was going. Like, actually, I was hanging out here, and then he's like, actually. <laughs> you guys do have a lot of members clubs. Yeah, we are, yeah. What is that? I don't know. We think we're the ting, that's why. Yeah. We think we're like the ting. So I went to one. Okay. And, and um, wasn't quite the vibe for, for, for me personally. What's also you vibe? What's the thing? <laughs> Smooth. See what yeah. you did there? What's the you vibe? Um, <laughs> I didn't even mean it. <laughs> You know what I really wanted to do, but I couldn't because my schedule until the season had ended, I really wanted to go see a football game. Because oh. I love, I mean, I love, I love football, soccer. We How long it, are you around for? Uh, what? How long are you in the UK for? Right now? Yeah. Oh man, I'm leaving in like 24 hours. Oh. Yeah. We would have made it happen for you. We would have made it I know, I, re I really, trust me, I would have loved to have. Uh, Next time you come, take what I bought. Me, you, <laughs> yeah. Football. Yeah. What's, your, what's your team? Can you say it? Man United. <laughs> why, why are you cringing? We just lost <laughs> they, had, they had a bad, league. they had a bad okay, weekend. Yeah, Do you I'm have a team? Following. You know, I don't. I can't say that I'm loyal because, like, my 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 family, like my my wife's family, um, they are they're they're Chelsea. Sorry, bro. they're oh. Chelsea. Yeah. Mm. Chelsea. But see, I'm not. I can't say that. I, see, when I started watching back in like 2006, I didn't love Chelsea. Arsenal, like the Thierry Henry days into mm -hmm. Cesc Fabregas, like loved, loved, loved Arsenal. Truly loved Arsenal. And the first game I ever saw. Was Arsenal at White Hart Lane? Is when they when I think they did they win or lose five one? It was that awful routing that everybody talks about. It was a uh, it was a Carling Cup won. final. I think Arsenal. I believe they won one five one. It was that a makes sense. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> <laughs> that does make sense. Thank you very much for passing through. Before you go, quickly, 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 season five. Are we gonna get it? I can't tell you that. Man. Oh. I, I mean, I would love to tell you that. It's been a pleasure having you on. Uh, you, season four, part two premieres today on Netflix. So that is the first thing you watch when you finish work, when you leave. Um, it's been amazing. Thank you for joining yeah, us. Thank you for having me.